Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Welsh Tech. Welcome back to the next video. This time, big thank you to Be Quiet, a case I've wanted to look for, look at for the last year. It is the Silent Base 802 windowed version, but it's in white. So, what I'm going to do is get this unboxed, and then we'll take a closer look. Trove. Trove is one of the last remaining small leather goods manufacturers in the United Kingdom. Also, Trove created the ultimate original slim wallet, a new format for carrying your everyday cards, cash, tickets, scraps. Also, head over to their website and customize your own wallet now. Link is in the description. Right then, so as you can see, look, I've unboxed it now. Uh, the well, I mean, this is my first time actually seeing this case. Uh, you've probably seen it on Gamers Nexus. Uh, Andy Raffelli probably did a review. Paul's Hardware. There's a lot of other places have done reviews of this case, but obviously I haven't had the chance to look at it. Now it does obviously come with uh, these panels, which I already know they came with them because I looked at this case for a while. So. It comes with these mesh front panels and top panels. So, you know, very uh, dense. I mean, it's just a grill, basically. So, you know, it's going to be good for airflow. And then you get these b quite straps. They're quite nice, actually. And then you get little case screws just to this can be inverted. So, and then obviously, and you get this and big, huge dust filter with the b quite branding on the top. Now, obviously, I don't want to look back, obviously. Now, I want to look at, uh, obviously it comes with the user manual, but I want to look at the case. Now, if I remember correctly, it pops out. Wow. Okay then, so. Oh, yeah, it's got a frame by here, and then this cell obviously, and it's got frames in it. And, wow. Look at me, that's really I like the, it's obviously it's a bit, overbuilt but that is what be quiet is known for is obviously the german engineering and they just overbuild things uh it does have a removable cage by here to put a 360 millimeter radiator obviously it's got uh room for a uh, 420 no sorry a 280 at the top a 240 then it's got 360 mount here it's got uh, 240 mil as well as 280 mil support I like the look of that. Obviously, you can strip this case and invert it. That's one of the main good things about this. One of the things I really want to look at. Obviously, now it comes with the Quiet 3 fans. But what I want to do is how do you get this off? Wait, no. Oh, blimey. Oh, oh crikey. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Any bigger? <laughs> wow, that's a big dust filter. <laughs> right, okay, so how do you take this off? Now, obviously, I do not want to break this because this is a sample they've sent me. Obviously, it I, I, I always liked the look of the case when it first came out. And when I first started getting products off Be Quiet, obviously, this was the first thing I asked for. They said no. Uh, so, I mean, obviously, it... it, it it's, it's fair enough because at the end of the day I was only just starting with them so so seven PCI slots obviously you've got a mount by here for a vertical size the power supply comes with a bracket which obviously this was in the 500DX as well which is very good so yeah it's got a little bit of shock proof in there so it doesn't uh, cause any vibrations obviously they're very uh, being quite a very known for their silence personally I think the light wings are the best RGB fans on the market because I use them in my personal build and I personally really like them. Uh, obviously, when I first started with uh, again products from Be Quiet, that's what that was one of the first products I heard about online. Saw a couple of pictures I did on Be Quiet's Instagram page. I thought, oh, and I'd literally just started getting into my love for rgb so obviously you know what i'm like i love my rgb so right so you have got sound deadening tiny bit of flex but other than that i mean it's a very sturdy case backside now Ooh, it looks just like the 
uh, Darkness 700 looks similar to the layout so but this doesn't seem as cramped I can see they've got a uh, fan controller a bit sh a bit of a shame that they aren't four pin PWM obviously it's gonna have a four pin off this but here which is but there so you can control them Ooh, accessories accessories obviously it's the white version oh another hard drive bay that it be quite really a box for that now it is similar to the dark base in layout similar to it it's got these little shroud things but here obviously i use these on the dark base when i've used it as my test bench to route the cables down it looks a lot neater obviously it comes with another drive cage but here which personally obviously hard drives have still got their place they've got two uh sata drive ports there's two and a half then they've got i believe that's another one looks like another one which is probably yeah two less it just slides off uh, yes yeah, so slides off lovely all i'll say is a very overbuilt case and that is expected of be quiet because they do not go you know 20 miles an hour they go the full hundred and they just steamroll things and this is one of the cases i Right, I know why the front panel won't come off now. Because it's got clips, it's got tabs inside. Let's have a look. Right, so I found out how you do it. So you push up. Not sure. There we go. Ooh. Wow! Fair play for the front panel, it's got quite a bit of weight. Obviously, sound editing, but obviously I won't be using that part because. I like the I like the mesh version. Obviously it does come with this massive dust filter. Oh god like me, don't break this Huge dust filter. Comes with obviously three included 140mm uh silo wing three fans. I hope they actually do make a, a updated version of this case, maybe with a bit of RGB. Be quiet. A bit of RGB goes a long way, RGB. Yes, it does. Goes a little. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait. Ah, oh, no. Oh. There we go. Oh, that looks much better. Look at that. Looks gorgeous. So, I hope. So, it has got a fan controller. It's got Type C. It's got a headphone and microphone jack. Big power button. It's got a reset button then it's got a hard drive indicator button then it's got two usb two ports obviously the top bit top bit comes off because it you know it takes up a big huge dust filter which obviously that's the part that's the one i'm going to use it and that's pretty much it actually i mean this is a very nice case i like the overall design it is called the trove custom wallet Trove, they're on uh, Instagram and they're also on Facebook and I believe Twitter. Uh, it is a custom wallet. You can customize it as much as you want. This is my sample by here. Obviously, that is what it's for. Put that in there and then this little tab, it pulls it out. So, if you want to get one of these, I will leave a link down below. And this is Richard from Wildstack. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And also, see you in the next one.